has to watch. Aha, and then some see ya. Uben ya moon today, mo. Hey, what's good, guys? Welcome back to the award-winning YouTube news channel, Fetch to Watch. If today is the first day you're watching me, make sure to hit the red subscribe button and the notification bell so that whenever I drop a video, you'll be the first to watch that. Let me see ya. Has say, and I'll be your mo. So from last week to now, I've had so many messages. Um, people from other countries they want to find out what is happening, what's the update. Two friends that are currently missing in Nigeria selling an Abigail Tando or Afiba, one Nigerian and one Ghanaian. There are two friends living in Dubai, and apparently they were friends in Ghana, they schooled in Ghana before they traveled to live in Dubai. The Ghanaian Abigail Tando, also known as Afiba is married in dubai um her friend selen who is a nigerian actually invited her to accompany her to nigeria for a wedding activity or wedding ceremony and according to some reports they were invited by one andrew amici hmm. the story behind andrew amici is intriguing and shocking andrew amici based on reports that we had last week and i um, actually said it and the news that i made last week andrew amechi is currently wanted in uk milton Keynes. he has a british citizenship but because um he is a criminal he's done so many abusive things against women he flew or let me say he ran away from milton Keynes, uk to come stay in nigeria and when i look at some of the videos of andrew amechi living the lavish life in nigeria driving expensive cars when he's on the wanted list in uk i'm quite shocked and even in some videos and reports this man gets escort from police in nigeria wow so after these two friends selling the Ghanaian girl afiba or abigail they went to nigeria and amechi transferred the money into the account to come visit him in his house and there's a video which is currently trending in that video Andrew Amechi was telling the Nigerian girl selling to bring her Ghanaian friend Abigail Tando to his house. Let's watch that video. King is called a king prawn cream sauce. That's what it is called. And I'm doing some vegetables with it as well. Uh, when I finish, I will send you another video and you can see how it looks, but it's really nice. <laughs> Was your trip? How was your journey? Um, you have to bring your friend. I, 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 I live now. I live. I'm, I'm in Abana now. I live in Abana. I've got a new office here. I live in this big wedding mansion. Got six bedrooms. So let's talk before. It, not this weekend. Next, we'll come next weekend. Okay. Send you some money. Just get a, just get a taxi, an Uber, a boat. It's crushing about maybe 50,000 to come here, okay? So, yeah, come spend stay two nights with your friend. We'll have, we'll have a bit of fun. We'll sort of go out and have some food, okay? Um, yeah, I live in a beautiful, beautiful house now. Absolutely beautiful. It's even better than my other place, okay? All right, all right, girl. You take care. Bye. So, as reported earlier, after transferring money to these beautiful girls, selling and abigail to come visit him in his house in abba in nigeria the girls are nowhere to be found and according to reports the family of abigail tando contacted the ghana embassy in nigeria they also alerted the interpol so interpol in collaboration with nigerian police stormed andrew amechi's house and guess what some of the things they found in andrew amechi's house you will not believe it one a two ammunitions per heavy ones a two par and then items that they believe belong to the girls selling an happy girl so where are the girls how come the items are in the house but they are nowhere to be found so according to reports andrea mechi was arrested last week and in fact the news that we are getting today is that andrea mechi is dead i will wow the suspect Andrew Amechi, who people believed kidnapped Selene and Abigail, as I speak today, is dead based on reports that is coming from Nigeria. Popular blogger stroke a human rights activist Harrison 
broke this news and according to him andrew amechi was killed by some vigilante group i'll give you the full details of this particular story about uh, andrew Akuna Faso, the film. it's quite shocking and unbelievable because this is the man who is a prime suspect and people believe he's the only one that knows the whereabouts of selena and abigail so right now that andrew amechi is believed to be dead you know where are we going to find the girls it's quite shocking and intriguing and of course blogger harrison and andrew's best friend or a close pal spoke on life facebook live some of the things andrew amechi's friends stated no you will not believe it main kasabi bray they are custom and holding and they andrew amechi the suspect i will invite a guy in abigail tando and then i down for selling or in nigeria if you dubai so mumra nigeria and then you see a free move no we quite be so and you will be a my way war the family of the ghanian lady abigail tando currently on nigeria who is behind the sudden death of andrew amechi like how can andrew die at the peak of his mother case i don't want to believe that the men of nigerian police have a hand in this whole saga this whole thing is blowing my mind up. Where is selling Anafi Batendo? Are they dead as claimed by social activists Adeton? What in God's name is happening for crying out loud? Adeton stated that there is ample evidence to prove that some men of Nigerian police is working with Andrew. She alleged that they sold him a gun which he uses to launch attack on his unsuspecting victims. Andrew had gotten the gun at the tune of 6 million naira. Why would Nigerian police sell a gun to a private citizen knowing full well it's against the law? Who and who is behind this whole mess? Andrew was supposed to be in Abuja for proper investigation and possible prosecution. But we learned that he had died, that he was killed by some local vigilante group. What in God's name is this cock and bull stories? He was killed while trying to escape with his car. How? He had access to his car. How? The Nigerian police should make it make sense to us. Like he was driving himself or what? Someone that was meant to be handcuffed under close scrutiny. How did the local vigilante group get access to him when he was meant to be accompanied by heavy security? Why travel by road when they should use flight? See how solid evidence is suddenly wiped off. Okay, okay, okay. Let's assume that he is dead as presumed. Where then is his corpse? Are there people trying to bury and cover this case? Where is the lifeless body of the deal of Selene and Afiba? Is Andrew Amechi Ocheko part of Organ Harvesting Syndicate? What the hell is wrong with Nigeria? Can't rule of law take its course and citizen get? He wrote me a message. He said, Ben, this is crucial. Make sure that the people know about the gun, how I acquire it. I have the message here on my phone. You said? He said, I should make sure that the gun. You can hear me now? Yeah, very well, very well. You say you should make sure that works. How you think? Can you hear us now? Very well, yes. Okay, so you, let me check the question again. Yeah. You are aware that that guy owns, is in custody of an ammunition, which was budgeted at the time they issued it. Please, can you give us a brief detail about Andrew this gun? Arrived, Andrew arrived in Nigeria in 2022. By the time Andrew arrived in Nigeria, Buhari government have already banned the ammunition. You can't have a shotgun in Nigeria. It's banned literally andrew gun was backdated to 2016. he acquired the gun in port harcourt he paid over six point something million to get that gun from state cid port harcourt i have the evidence he sent it to me andrew took this gun to abba when he moved to abba he was arrested in abba with the gun yes follow i greet you too they, they arrested him in a bar with the gun. They saw the guy in his they saw the gun in his car. He paid them six hundred thousand. They asked for one point something million. He paid them six hundred grand. He sent it to me. I have the text. And they gave him back his gun way before this guy were kidnapped. 
So he told me this gun is going to be the gun he will use to take his own life. I said, don't do shit like that. So now that we are hearing this news, what happened to Andrew? What happened to the girls? Please. Harrison, come. Harrison, talk. Let Harrison talk. Okay, this is where we come in, eh? Um, because for me, I've not seen something like this before. That's, that's, that's the truth. There are a lot of, um, a lot of um, issues coming out now. Uh, all right? Um, first, the people that are they only kidnapped two girls. Not the two yes. girls. The, I won't say kidnapped anyway. The two girls traveled to meet with him in uh, in Aba. You know, after yes. they stayed in a hotel, he drove them to the house. You know, that's that's just what happened. All right. Now, um, later they got missing. The girl sent a video while she was in the house, a video to the sister, just to let her know that this is where I am. You get it, and that is just the last uh what they had uh, later they saw when in the house they saw a one millionaire was debited from her account from her tablet that she kept in the house when we were searching for to know what's going on they have not heard from her one million was debited and this money that was debited was sent to the same account andrew sent them transport to come down to uh abba you understand then the police the case was reported at the uh, anti-kidnapping abba they, they went for arrest. They could not go in, into the house because Andrew was armed. So they now left. Then they, they reinforced back and they went into the house and Andrew was arrested. Now, um, I don't know, bros, I don't know if you are his friend because you have what you are saying now is that you have a lot of. I, I, if you are in Nigeria, I think you are even here police to for inve more investigation. He, he has a lot of information see, because yes. Andrew ran to him and started to divulge all those yes. information okay, to now, him because he thought I he was know, going to kill himself. I, I wasn't there, but from facts, for investigation we've carried out and what we know, we saw that Andrew has the police in Abia State in his arms. In his yes, arms. that's number one because what the vigilante in the street there said Andrew uses police to intimidate them in the streets. The vigilante confirmed that to us that they are ready to come testify that Andrew used police to intimidate them in the in the in the on street. The street on the street. Understand? On the street, sorry, yes. Then um when the story got to me, we wrote a petition to the when we discovered that while in custody, Andrew was making use of his phone. His phone. He was making mm. use of his phone. So we said, uh, how can somebody on this kind of case they charge you they are as well for this kind of case, you're making use of your phone in custody. So, like I said earlier, he has police in his arm. So the family were angry. Why would this man not even disclose the whereabouts of these girls? He has access to his phone. He's not like somebody who is detained in the cell. You understand? So the family now reached out to uh, uh, somebody in Abuja. A petition was filed and approved. I have a copy of the approval. They reached out to Ghanaian embassy in Abuja. Yes. No, before the Ghana embassy took came in, a petition was filed for case transfer mm -hmm. to IG office. So IG now give approval to FCCID for them to investigate the case. Mm -hmm. So um, then they now got in contact with me, and I have to enter the matter. When 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 we go to Abba, the police told us that it was a self kidnap. That was what they told us. So where I said, let me go deeper into this matter is that the police said it's a self kidnap. Now. When they went to Andrew's house to search, they saw one of the girls back in Andrew's house. The debit alert they saw the, the, the debited from Andrew's account, entered Andrew's account. So why we they say is a self kidnap? And then again, the phone they said they were tracking. The police said we were tracking phone that the phone is on where they is in Port Harcourt. They were not giving us exact you know information report of what was what was going on. So mm -hmm. now Put another petition to AIG Zone 6, Umwaya, for that case to be taken away from and kidnapping to Zone 6. Unfortunately, we heard that IG office, IGP office, uh, IRT, IFID, IRT came to Aba to move out the case file from Aba, then heading to uh, Abuja. Abuja yes. So I said, I said, that's good. If they want to move the case, that is good. You understand? That was the last time we heard from them. Then we kept calling the officers that came to pick up the case file to know what's going on. They said they are they are still on their way. They're on their way. For almost two days, no information of what is going on, where 
you know, current their current position or anything. So two days ago, I got information that uh, Andrew was killed while trying to escape. And I said, ah, I said I cannot be able to say this out to the public until I confirm. So um, today I I entered flight. Now there's a victim, a girl escaped from Andrew January this year. That's guy. Kala that girl, I have the that video. Rachel. I have a hundred percent video. Rachel, I have when she was pressing her nipple. Everything I have the video. Yellow girl, slim but, yellow yes. girl. Uh, ben, what's his name? Thank what's you. the girl's name? Rachel, 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 Rachel. Rachel. Right, Andrew, Andrew sent one million to her, and the girl was thanking him that uh, one million for two of them. It was supposed no, no, to be no, her no, and no, her no. friend. No, no, That's no, 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 case. no, 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 no. These are different cases. They, hey! they let me, let me. Andrew. Let me tell you something. When Andrew invited these two girls, okay, I saw the chat, the chat login. I have the whole chat login. The message he sent to the girls was, would you come to Abba to see me uh, with your friend? And the girls say, uh, chat me, not on Instagram, chat me on my WhatsApp. So they chatted on WhatsApp. They have a negotiation. The girl demanded for one million for two of them. Jesus In Christ. no case. Andrew never said I will pay you one million. I will not pay you one million. Maybe they made a phone call to conclude the deal, not on a text message, but it was never on a confirmed text message that I have with me that Andrew agreed to give them one million. But those guys, however, came down to Aba, and when, when they landed in Aba, this is when the situation happened. Harry, Andrew can please? not leave Nigeria. Somebody is saying Andrew. Andrew is British citizen and Andrew is wanted by the Milton Keynes police okay. uh, for case of uh, rape as well. Andrew Harrison cannot continue. leave Nigeria. Harrison is actually saying something. Very so important, the, please. The victim, Rachel, uh, she's currently making a statement now. I, I, uh, I left her at the station because she has to give the police people her statement. From her narration, she told us how she got to her bar how she entered a hotel close by. Then Andrew took her to um, a, a mall, later to the house. And when she got to the house, she was trying to test her location to her friend. From behind, Andrew now hit her from behind. So she was, she was shocked. So Andrew started hitting her on the face. And that was how um, both of them started dragging until Andrew overpowered, overpowered her, and then there's a rope. He said there's a rope. Uh, this rubber handcuff that he used to tie her two hands behind her back. So that was what transpired. Then she, he brought out a gun. There's a gun, a black gun that he brought out, which he pointed to her. That's and the gun I sent to, to you. Yes, and told her to strip, uh, to strip naked, and which which she did. She stripped. Okay. So um, I stopped at a. You said he now said, removed. You say you remove you remove one of the the girl inside the room. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. He removed the handcuffs and then lay her down on the floor. So I think he inserted his manhood, but he was not comfortable. So he ordered her to go to go up to go inside the room. So with the gun, Andrew followed her, led her to the room, as she lay on the bed. So the girl said, immediately Andrew penetrated. She noticed that. I think she was bleeding, like, I think maybe she was on her period. Her period started coming out, so he pulled out and tried using, uh, going through the, uh, through the animal, and the thing was, was not entering. So he now told her Abel, to can use you, this, okay, If you are saying, if you are saying any deep thing like that, can you say it in pigeon? Because of the okay. page we are on, to plan the, on the uh, place. Uh, okay, so I think almost entered the, this thing, now blood, you know. Uh, it was seen a mes yeah, mesuration, you know. The thing so come, before come he mm -hmm. before he come one put on for a other side, but the thing not really, not really enter. So uh, uh, God was make using hand the you know the they do the Zakam. job. Mm -hmm. Do the job. So say if you want to come, make open your mouth to come inside, you know, inside in a in, in mouth until you know, the when you want to when when you want to come, you want to come, you come, come out her mouth. The thing not put. On her face, they still continued again until he tied the girl and kept her. A lot of stories. I think the girl will be able to tell her story herself. I don't like telling somebody someone's story. She has to come here and also tell her story too. Now, she was in the house for two days. 
Andrew took her phone and was, was deleting the conversation on Instagram. They met on Instagram, deleted the conversation on Instagram. I was not chatting, you know, our friends on, you know, our, our friends. Then she, he, he said he kept her in a room, in, a, in, a, in one of the rooms, kept her there and tied her and locked the door. So when he wants to come in, he comes to the house and he he, he sees her and tell her that, you know, she will, he will kill her, that he will remove uh, her heart, uh, private part. So I am. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, come, out, you know, come out all this sensitive part from her, her body. Then he saw some knife, some sharp object. Uh, then again, he was, Andrew was uh, showing her some videos from his phone. People, he has, he has dealt with. He don't do I had a video. Before. He don't do them again. He don't do them before. We didn't get the evidence. The phone. They show him the phone. So she was scared. So and uh, they begged for her life. That. Uh, Please, that she's this and that. I'm begging Andrew would not listen to, to her. And then later, around in the night, that the front door, what he does is, if you go in downstairs, he will carry her downstairs. Then naked, not wearing anything. So that night, she was very cold. So she, he begged Andrew to please give him polo to wear. She was naked. So Andrew gave her uh, uh, a polo that she wore. So why still change? Uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, he tied uh our two hands then the front door that you surely you know, you always lock that front door each time is going out but that that night that i think he forgot the key at the mouth so while andrew slept off the gun was on the bed her phones were where was it called by, where, where, inside. On, by the side so she was thinking of taking the phones to try to see how to open the door and run away but she decided no let her just Kukuma opened the door and took off. So she now opened the door, and that was how she ran away. So she, immediately she ran away, ran to the gate. She just saw behind, she saw Andrew. So she now faced towards the fence, that barbed wire, and climbed. So if you saw the video she sent, her legs were were torn by the barbed wire. The barbed wire, you know, her leg was, uh, they had, she had some stitches after the incident. So she ran, she jumped into a compound. She shouted, a neighbor saw her, somebody saw her. And to that, no, 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 go, 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 go. So she now ran away, ran, jumped again to another compound. And now heard a woman praying, ran to the house. And that was how those people held her. Vigilantina came and they were said, maybe she's a thief. Or she said, no, they, somebody kidnapped me. She explained to them, they could understand. They even changed the girl to the next morning. Before they now called her family, that was how she, she went. She, she left that day. And when she got to Potako, she went to CP. Uh, this Tunji Disu, I reported the case to the CP. CP now to, gave her a team that took over to, to you know anti kidnapping in Port Harcourt. So we just I know is is a is a is not their jurisdiction to do a case in um, in Abia. She has to go back to Ab Abba, and she was scared, and that was what happened. So when I posted this story about this uh, this missing girls, she reached out to me and I heard her story. So. Uh, I think the police saw the video and called me that she should come. I said, okay, fine, I'll bring her. So two days ago, I heard that Andrew was killed while trying to escape. It was from the Ghanaian embassy that that information you know, reached out to us. Uh, leaked, leaked, leaked. So when I now go to Abuja today, I said, let me find out the truth. And from the video, from the video, from the picture I saw, they showed me his dead body at the back of a car. I don't know if it's a car, but they told me it's a Mercedes Benz. I don't have the car. Is, then a black, is he a black? Is he a black Mercedes Benz E220? No, I, I, no, I don't know, but I, I only saw the interior, that the back seat. I don't know if it's black or it's white. It's a black Mercedes. But they showed me, Mercedes. It's a yeah, black Mercedes. Yeah. Now this is what this is their own um their own narrative of what transpired. Mm -hmm. They said when they got to were coming when they got to Benue, they mm -hmm. were driving a white mm -hmm. bus, mm -hmm. a white bus. And Andrew's message. Are they two? Are you listening? Are they? Are they here? Are okay. They here? Harrison, go on, please. Yeah. They were driving their white bus and Andrew's mm -hmm. message. This is their own narrative, their own what they, what transpired. Okay. And they said Andrew's car is a 20, 2024 model Mercedes. It's, that is it's not 2024. 20, I don't know. That's what they said. I don't know the year or what. Mm -hmm. They said it has a thumbprint and facial recognition. Mm -hmm. So when mm -hmm. they when they got to Benway. The car broke down. 
So they needed mm -hmm. Andrew to use his facial recognition to start the car. Mm -hmm. That was what they said. That Andrew was on leg chain, that there's a leg chain on Andrew's leg. Mm -hmm. So he, he now entered the front, uh, the driver uh, his side, to, you know, to start the car with and his drove off. With his and face. drove off. Yes. And he now pinned down the, um, uh, locked the car and drove off. That was, this was there, this was there. The narrative. Yes. So it's when they, when they, he drove off, it's a mm -hmm. Methodist man that they cannot pursue him because their own was, was both. Okay. So they started making calls. They started making calls. To all the so, areas. Mm -hmm. To all the areas. Then they recorded to vigilante, the police, and the rest of them. So that was how they were now chasing Andrew all over Benway until he got to a point. The the uh, they blocked him. They pointed him gun to stop. He refused to stop. They now fired the car, and they now shot him and killed him. This is the This is the police narrative. Now, um, they said the people that after he was shot, that he gone. Now where I'm, I'm having some my hair when they told me. You see, that same Andrew's gun that we are talking about, the exhibit, mm -hmm. was inside that car. They said the people that killed him were not dragging the gun. Who will take the gun? Who will take the gun? So, me first catch him. So, so Harrison, had... you mean all along from, from Abba mm. to Abuja to yes. Benue, mm. Andrew had a gun, the same gun that we are talking inside about the the car. in his car. The, car. Yes. the police that <laughs> were supposed to trap Nigerian, make on a list, you know, because mm. listen, yeah. this is, uh, there are psychopaths. Okay, Andrew, uh, let me ju let me just make this so, clear. Let me, let me just let me just try a random thing and just you know. Go ahead, go so ahead. They said they said the gun exploded <laughs> and shot and shot one of the officer vigilante. No, one of the vigilante. You know, that was what transpired, and the gun has been recovered, <laughs> and uh, they have arrested all these persons who were involved in shooting and helping them to rescue to to hold uh, Andrew and killing him. They are again. In the custody here in in abuja you understand so i don't want to say further but in all these things the, the story long where we you understand the story long i, I don't even I, understand the, what is going on and you know okay uh, let me just say the harrison you have narrated the story in a way that it's exactly the format that because when andrew spoke to me yes. he didn't tell me how has it gone with him because we yes. didn't have a chance to say whether you still have the gun with him when they're taking him to Abuja. He didn't tell me that one. Let me make it clear for those of you guys that may be posting on the blog that this guy is his friend. I am his friend. Doesn't mean I condo any of the stuff he does. Mr. Ben, please, I have one question. There yes, is a please. story where Andrew threw a girl from how many story building? No, no. And then and my, my and sister. And also, his, and also killed his father too. It's a lie. He didn't kill his father, please. That's, that's so a lie. That that's, that, that's a lie that's a lie okay. that's a lie let me just let me just let me i will not in any way remove the evil yeah. andrews had done yeah. one piece from it i will not remove it at the same okay. time i will not put lies on him because he's my friend does not mean i'm condoning what he has done in nigeria the yeah. corruption in nigeria brought this thing and if eventually that those two guests if they are not found Nigerian police are responsible for that calamity because the safety of Nigerians. Andrew has so many red lights that Andrew should not be seeing the light of the day in Nigeria. But he keep on owning them and they keep on giving him more chances. I don't know what to even say anymore now that Andrew has his car with him under arrest. He's driving his car to Abuja. I Mr. just want ben. to... Mr. Ben, please, me, I'm still retreating. Can you tell us the story of the one that Andrew threw a girl from up and still compensated the family, please? Andrew you told me, God when, I, when I heard the story, when I heard the story, I spoke to Andrew about it. Andrew told me the girl stole his Rolex watch and the girl jumped. Okay? I have, have the text message. I'm going to publish it on Night 24 yes. News. If you guys are not following, go and follow Niger 24 News. I will publish it there. I don't think I will be there to publish one by one. I have a whole catalog of Andrew last three years in Nigeria, what he has done, 
the crime he has committed and the one he hasn't committed. I have everything. Because as you know, I'm a blogger and he sent me things. I don't know why he's sending it to me. Maybe he want me to say this. Because he told me, Ben, make sure these stories are heard. How did I acquire the gun? How did they give me back my gun? They arrested me in, Port in Aba. I pay 600,000. They give me back my gun. So if those gun were the gun he used to shoot those people, then Nigerian police need to answer question. They must provide us a definite answer of where are these two young ladies. It is very important. If you want me to talk about all that crime that they have accused him or that I know that have taken place, that I'm aware of, then we're going to go there. But it's, it's going to why, take us two why days. Why did Andrew leave UK? Because he's British and he's well-to-do. He's very rich. He's extremely rich. He has top, in one, you know. Yeah, in one of the in one, in one of the rooms that they broke in, they they saw I saw the video from when they broke in. Oh. Yeah, I'm listening. So uh, can you hear me now, please. Ha Harrison, I'm getting calls. I'm Harrison, getting calls. people are coming. Tell them, you tell them you not to call one you. Can you? Harrison, tell them on the video, video that, that you are doing live. They should not be using the phone system phone to call you. Uh, yeah, people Harris, are just like, you, you said in uh, one of the rooms. In, please check it again. You said in one of the rooms. You know, they 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 video as they are breaking in. They we are videoing it and show them and send them to Abuja. They when they broke the room, they saw blood flashes on like blood on on the floor and also uh on the wall and also um a rope a, a blue rope a blue colored rope that you know they used to tie cow those kind of rope that they saw mm -hmm. in that room they saw some stuff you know which they they took down to uh abuja so i i believe uh they also took his lap they have his laptop his phone which they said they are going to make some uh findings and there's another thing that happened too um which i don't know i don't I, I don't want to review it online here because it's very sensitive and i think talk, which one be that talk and talk and talk and talk and pigeon speak pigeon i beg uh -huh. don't Make kill, don't kill page, i beg i think the guy knew that he's going to die or something he Make you this he said that he won't find he himself he don't tell he them he transferred over 100 100 million naira from his account to a, to a woman ben how many children he gets Inga just one picking. Yes. Inga one picking. Okay. That I know of. Picking, that I know of. That I know of. That you know of. You know his wife. Now wife have been a Niger. I I used to, I know you. I know his wife. With a white Where, lady. Now white lady. Okay. And I don't want to I don't want to bring his wife into it because there's so many history in this case. So please let's let so us please, respect his another son question. And his, and his wife why did he why did he leave Milton Keynes? Why did he run away from Milton Keynes? Uh um, I would say he left this country because we have a law in this country. We have a law. Did he ever go to jail in the UK? Let me let me explain to you. We have a law in this country. Criminals such as the practice that he's been described of my friend right now cannot exist in this country for a very long time. Has he ever committed anything against women in the UK? Andrew is currently wanted on a list of mm -hmm. wanted people in the uk so it's on the website and it's active so you guys can go and verify that one so nigerian police is aware harrison go ahead please 